made it. The grown up. It's a grown up. <laughs> Pretty cool, y'all. I don't actually grow sharks, but yes. <laughs> He's the shark farmer. Yep. From Brett. Wait. Just outside of Bradford, Illinois. You do that pretty right? good. I've got a great group of guys here that I want to introduce you to and share some really exciting news. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> this morning for sure y'all for sure but it's warming up and the sun's coming out and the fog's starting to lift which is good take what we can get Okay, I just made it to San Antonio and I didn't know how I was gonna get to my hotel. I thought I was gonna have to download that app, the Uber app thing that I don't have and figure it out. And then lo and behold, I met Mike at the baggage baggage claim, if I can talk. Mike is a dairy farmer. Did you call yourself a dairy farmer, right? Yep. And dairy farmer. Grain. And they grow some grain, some really high yielding grain, corn, right? Yeah. In Connecticut. And Pete, Pete or Peter? Yep, Peter. 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 And I'm sorry, ma'am, what's your name? Pat. Pat. And Pat is driving Mike and Peter and myself to our hotels. These two guys won a contest, basically. Yeah, the Yelp National Corn Growers Association uh, yield contest uh, for the state of Connecticut we won. So. All right. Got so they got, a, they got a free contest. trip to Commodity Classic. And he happened to recognize my face from YouTube. 
even though he said he doesn't really watch my videos, he's going to now, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and they said they could, Pat offered to give me a ride since I looked very lost, like a lost little puppy at the baggage claim. I can't believe he lost in San Antonio. <laughs> no so no, I'm not, I'm not going to be lost in San Antonio. So here we go. Great start. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes, what are you excited about for the weekend? Um, the event? I'm not really sure. We're just going to take it all in, I think. Yeah, same. I'm with you. We'll have to come back. Maybe I'll, maybe, maybe we'll be leaving at the same time and we can, yeah, we can, we can kind of do a review of, of how it went. All right. Cool. Well, thanks. Thanks no for picking me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to yeah. delete that out. Yeah. videographer fail. I just had supper with the Welkers and Tony Fast, Fast Tag Montana. Didn't video any of it. Stuck their faces the whole time. Ate everything on my plate because I was starving. I do have a picture to show. I'll do that. So far so good. Ready to call it a night. Okay. As is the new thing that I do, welcome to my bathroom in my hotel. I have a suite, y'all. It's sweet, right? I have a whole suite that I won't use. That's okay. All right, heading out. Going to see a friend, someone you know, for breakfast. And then we're going to the show. Going to meet a friend in here. I told you I was coming to see a friend for breakfast. It's like, like a free girls trip. Yay. It's so awesome. I'm Back so happy together to see again. You. We're like, I feel like we're Reunited. so sisters. What's that song? Do you think? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can okay, it. it's too early. My voice is not I need to wake up. I need more coffee. Yay. Anyway, we'll head to the show in a minute. Here's the river walk by morning. I gotta Well, I made it inside. I just did a little interview that I should have videoed some of. It'll be on Facebook with Progressive Farmer, DTN. Anyway, that sucker right there is big. Some very big stuff here. Oh my gosh. I think my house would fit in there. Pretty sure. Oh, okay, wait, no. My house would fit in there. Right. What in the world is that? My mouth is on the floor. <laughs> Unloads 1,092 bushels per minute. Only smokestacks. Wow. Here we are again. <laughs> Why are you doing everything? YouTubing each other at YouTubing the same time. So let's see, in Nebraska, we were in one of, it was a class or class? A class. Class. This, my friends, is a brand new. This is a good view. I don't know what it is. It's a big John Deere. And I am not going to lie, I could get used to this bad boy right here. John, John, Deere, John Deere 330. 330. <laughs> we could ask Zach. It smells John, Zach's so the good. John Deere expert. It smells like a new vehicle. I mean, I think I haven't smelled a new vehicle in a really long time 13 years, actually. But anyway, this is the real deal. It's like a full size buddy seat. <laughs> if it's a. You can have a grown up seat. It's a grown up. <laughs> Pretty cool, y'all. So here's the view from up above. It's, it's big. We're going to walk around some today, tomorrow. You're fine. Lots of people. Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. Plus, I'm excited that we get to hang out again. <laughs> so Me it's too. like, you know, that's so the good. best part. Get to explore, but there's so much equipment here. There's a lot of equipment. There's a lot. There's, there's really big equipment. Yeah, so I'm excited <laughs> to check some of the equipment out because there's a yeah. lot. There's like at least four harvesters in here, I think. I know. Three. So yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> when in San Antonio, go to the Alamo with your friend. 
thieves. <laughs> He's taking pictures. <laughs> Yay, I don't think it's open yet, but we're gonna see. We just did a tour inside. We couldn't take any video or photo, but the the man, there was a man inside who gave us some of the history and I could have listened to him talk for three hours. He was just a wealth of knowledge. It's really interesting. Good morning. Well, we're here at day two at Commodity Classic. I even found somebody to hold my camera for me. <laughs> That's awesome. And I've got a great group of guys here that I want to introduce you to and share some really exciting news. First off, we have Dan Lipkiss, you might recognize from Corn Warriors, and his fiance Melissa. Um, you got a really exciting project. Yeah, here, we, right? Yeah, we did a launch here of ExtremeAg.Farm. Uh, it's a group of farmers that are coming together with a web-based site that uh, we're going to uh, deliver a lot of great information and uh, we think, it, uh, think it's going to help a lot of people. So what we have here is like a powerhouse of corn and beans, right? It's corn and beans mainly? What's your, what's your uh, beans, okay, tell yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> All the things. All the crops there. Award-winning, high-yield. I'm gonna say it wrong. Stay you won you all the awards. Record holding. Each of you uh, say your name. Yeah, first. tell us who you are. Yeah. Okay, I'm Matt Miles from Southeast Arkansas. Is that what you want? Or you want more? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said it in a neutral. I wish you could tell what you grow. Yeah, I grow, I grow uh, cotton, corn, rice, soybeans, peanuts, wheat. Don't forget your grandkids. And grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, that was matter. Okay. And I'm Lee Lubers from Gregory, South Dakota. Uh, we are a dry land operation. Uh, we are corn, soybeans, and winter wheat. And I got two awesome daughters. I'm Kelly Garrett from Western Iowa. I grow corn, soybeans, and winter wheat. Some irrigated, some dry land, and I have three sons. Kevin Matthews from North Carolina, Meredith's neighbor. Glad to have her here with us. Appreciate all the help you get. Yeah, I had to come all the way to Texas. Hey, a great place. It's warmer here today. It is. <laughs> and uh, we got corn, soybeans, wheat, barley. Um, fat fourth generation business. And um, just glad to help our kids come in and uh, extreme ag. We're just passionate about uh, providing excellent learning opportunities for others coming forward. And we're trying to look after that younger generation to make an easier transition into our farm. So I'm Chad Henderson. I'm from Madison, Alabama. And uh, we grow wheat, beans, and corn. We got two kids, girl and boy. And, well, they're ready. I guess they're mostly grown. Now, yeah. Anyway, they're they're grown now, but uh, we start early in the south. You know, as a free run. I can't get into all that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So basically, what y'all are doing is you're creating a website, like a hub, right? Yeah. Where people are going to be able to come, and you're going to be sharing all your secrets. I mean, is that what you're doing? Yes, basically, basically, basically yeah. yeah. <laughs> so why? Why? Like, what's, why are you doing this? Well, what do you hope to? We, we why came did you to, give all that information? Well, we came together as this group, and we realized that uh, we had a lot of information that we were telling each other and that we were gaining knowledge from each other, and it benefited all us. So then the, the idea was born of maybe we could do this on a larger scale. And uh, some people have got behind us that have wanted us to... Uh, uh, promote it and push it, and, uh, and it, and we've got it to that point now where that we're uh, we're we're starting to venture. And we're pretty excited about. It. Awesome! Well, I'm excited too. So I'll put a link in the description to their website for you to go check that out and um, do that. Go check it out. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> When it gets pressure on it, things are going to tweak, things are going to change. For the furrow irrigation, the water has to have a direction to run in. You're putting on band-aids. You're not getting down to the core of the issue. Take each individual unit off. Yeah. But the first thing you're looking at is those films. Matt Miles, I farm in McGee, Arkansas.
We go across the rows, just make as long uh, runs as possible. With Kelly Garrett, I farm an area in Iowa. Remember, this is the easy things you can do. This is not costing you any money. Chad Henderson, I farm in Madison, Alabama. We like to run a pretty good gallonages, even if we have to add water. Dan Lepkus, farm in uh, Northern Illinois. You may need to come in here and adjust the singulator a little bit for different ones. Kevin Matthews, I farm in East Bend, North Carolina. The best thing you can ever do in farming is pay yourself. And a right. sprayer lets you do that. Lee Lubers and I farm at Gregby, South Dakota. For real farmers. A group of progressive growers. We're showing you real results. Just a perfect opportunity. I to open our farm and open our experiences. Not afraid to try new things. With one common goal. To share their knowledge. To start paying it forward. And that's helping others. Extremeag.farm. It's an awesome deal. Let's do it. <laughs> I was just walking by and I heard this really familiar Kansas. voice. This 4850 in December, 51,000. Machinery Full hours. Greg. Indiana, second highest auction price in 11 Come years on, on a 4850. Talking about tractors. Well, y'all, I found a y friend. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> I found a friend. Down by the creek. <laughs> Down by the creek. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't think there's a creek around here. There's a river, though. There is, yeah. <laughs> It's anyway, good to see you. It's good to see you too. Yeah, Mom. it's been way too long. I know. Yeah. A long time. You're like a big star here. I'm not the it's big a, we, star. Literally, this we is had to get star. we had to get off the main route because everybody <laughs> was stopping us. Oh, you're married. No, you're this farm wife. True. Hey, do you have butter on you? <laughs> yeah, I actually have gotten more questions about butter than anything. That's not a bad thing. You're the butter lady. <laughs> anyway, this is this is Robin. He is the real celebrity. Rob wow. is. A, Rob is a um, shark farmer in Illinois. That, you not never actually. Get that. Not actually. I don't actually grow sharks, but yes. <laughs> He's the shark farmer. Yep. From Brad. Wait. Just outside of Bradford, Illinois. You do that pretty do good. Like yeah. I've been practicing. Don't do it any better. I'll lose I've my job. <laughs> so he has a podcast, mm -hmm. Shark Farmer Podcast. Yep. Which is killing it. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Can I say that? It's uh, yeah. We've 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 done really well lately. We broke the top twenty-five on iTunes. So, an, a farming podcast in the top I mean, twenty-five. I. That's amazing. Yeah, pretty proud of it. I'm proud of you. I mean, really, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, you have a radio show. Yep. On Shark Farmer Sirius, Radio. Sirius Sirius XM Shark yeah. Farmer Radio. I'm not real original with my names. <laughs> Well, I think Shark Farmer is pretty original. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was to begin with. And then, tell them what you got coming up. Uh, this spring, we do have a show on RFD TV called Shark Farmer <laughs> TV. <laughs> but it's, yeah. And, and you've been on it. Uh, we are highlighting people in, in agriculture that are doing an amazing job, like yourself, uh, that are just telling a good story. Plus, we got like funny videos and uh, funny pictures. And I can't wait. Where's the camera at? Because I think oh, I'm you looking look over at, here. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Because my tell you eyes that are like that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. I'm not. Yeah, this. Yeah, this is for radio. Yeah, this is for video. Yes. You're going to be on TV now. So that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super yeah, I'm excited. Very excited, to watch. excited about it. Yeah. When's it start? Hopefully March. Marchish. It's 2019. Yeah. No, 20. 20. We're in 20 now. <laughs> it's been a long morning already. No. Yeah. All right. So. Where will they be able to watch that? RFD, RFD TV. TV, and then we'll have it up on YouTube too. Okay, that's so. good because there's people like me that don't have satellite or cable, but we Canada all have YouTube. Does it. Most Canada did it, yeah. So all, no Canadians can get it, so we want it on YouTube. You don't have to pay for that either. We'll be able to watch it for free. Uh, what the YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just can't put a full episode on there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because the YouTube's too popular. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll be looking for that. Y'all have to check it out. Thank you for interviewing me. Thank this you is, for I can, interviewing I can, me. He's I can check this me a lot. You're so crazy. I can check this off my, my bucket list. Right. Interviewed um, by Meredith Bernard. It's been a very good support for me the last few years. It's really it's been a good support. I, you know, You've taught me a lot. You've helped me a lot. But from like uh, the first time seeing you on social media, uh, you could tell <laughs> how authentic you were. You could tell that you really cared about agriculture. And uh, yeah, if you don't support people like that, then... What you doing, yo? Yo, yeah, you got me singing that song too. So. <laughs> so. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Best of luck. Thanks. Y'all need to watch. Y'all are going to tune in too. I'm going to be on Meredith's YouTube. <laughs>
Sweet. So crazy. <laughs> well, my time in San Antonio has come to an end. It is time to go back to the farm. But this was another amazing event that I was so honored to be a part of. Thank you to Farmers Business Network and YouTube for allowing me to come and to be a part of it and to continue to share the story of ag through through YouTube and through social media. And um, events like these, the best part of events like these is getting to meet face to face with you, with my viewers, with followers, with other people in ag that are doing amazing things and sharing their stories and learning from each other, encouraging each other and supporting each other because that's what it's all about. And in so many ways, the story of ag is everyone's story. Whether you are a farmer or not, we all have a vested interest in agriculture and keeping our story alive and spreading that positive message of agriculture and how important it is to our world. So I don't know, I just get all the feels when I get ready to leave these events and um, just leave really fulfilled and encouraged to keep going and keep sharing. Thank you for being along for the journey for putting up with my craziness <laughs> and um, just the way I put things across sometimes that might be hard to follow. Um, I will tell you, I did a live, my very first YouTube live video from the conference yesterday. You can find that on my channel page. Go watch that. I share a lot more, show a lot more of the actual show in the facility and some of the equipment. I did it with my friend, Tara from Beaver Vineyards and we had a blast. It was a little crazy, but it was really fun. So you can go check out more there and um, I'll see you back on the farm. Morning, Bonnie. Did you miss me at all? <laughs> Back to the grind.